one shot on stage, which you got to play generic drops for days. Hey, big BCW show this Friday night at the high school. Tell your friends. Don't need a flyer. I go to every show. Wait, is that you? Uh, what do you mean? Facing Mr. CQ in the main event. It's definitely you. Uh, <laughs> I guess I can see the resemblance, but that guy's a huge indie star. Why would he be out here flyering for a show? Hey, is this weirdo bothering you? He's one of the wrestlers. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Have fun at the show. Yo. I thought Restos had money. Why would he be driving around some crappy bug van? See? See? Good point. More proof that I am not who you think I am. Sure. You gotta check out this guy's highlights online. He's going to be a huge star in WWE someday. <laughs> Thanks. That's nice of you to say. I mean about the wrestler on the poster who is, um, definitely not me. Come on. Let's go. Hope you beat Mr. CQ. I can't stand that guy. Well, maybe I'll see you in the crowd Friday night. I mean, as a fan, as a fan, uh, definitely not from the ring, because I'm not a wrestler. Hey, I want you to meet Matt Bloom from NXT. Matt, this is my protege, Van Gogh. I'm a big fan, Mr. Bloom. I mean, I've studied all your matches from your run in WWE and Japan. Really great stuff. Thanks. You must be a true student of the game. I try to be. So why do they call you Van Gogh? Are you some kind of artist? Not quite. I gave him that name because everywhere he goes, his dad's old work Van goes. He practically lives in that thing. Yeah, practically. So what brings you out to our show? I'm here to scout your opponent. Cole Quinn. Cole's great. You won't be disappointed. I'll have my eye on you as well. Wait, really? You're rustling Cole, so it'll be kind of hard <laughs> not to. Yeah, yeah, good point. Well, I should go get ready. It was nice meeting you, Mr. Bloom, and thanks for coming out to the show. Hey man, good to see you. Slow your roll, Greeny. Tonight's my big chance to get signed to NXT, so don't do anything to screw it up. <laughs> okay, look, I'm gonna give it everything I have tonight, and we'll see where we stand after that. All I know is I'll be standing in Orlando at the Performance Center. You can continue standing in high school gyms. <laughs> we'll see. Good match, Van Gogh. Yeah, great Thanks. job out there. It means a lot coming from Orlando, you. Orlando, here I come. I'm gonna get a condo on the beach. There's no beach in Orlando. Well, then I'll make sure to furnish my condo with wall-to-wall -wall sand. Before you start making big plans, we have a few things to discuss. Like what? My start date? Future opponents? Waist measurements for the NXT title? Not exactly. To be honest, I'm not a fan of your Mr. CQ character. You need to come up with something different. It's not really a character, but fine. I can come up with something different after I get to NXT. Full disclosure, I don't think you'll be heading to NXT. Not anytime soon, at least. You're just not ready. I was actually more impressed with your opponent over here. Wait, what? So I've decided to offer him an opportunity instead. You'll have a tryout match on an up-and-coming WWE event. Really? Yes. I've been doing this a while now, and I know talent when I see This is some I kind of it. joke. Because you were supposed to be here to scout me and not him. 
Plans change all the time in this business. That's a good lesson for you to learn. I have to go catch my flight. You and Baron will be hearing from us soon with the details on your tryout match. Don't make me regret my decision. I won't. Thank you. Unbelievable. I told you not to ruin this for me, and look what happened. Whoa, all I did was give it everything I had out there, okay? I can't help it that he saw more potential in me. Potential? Or was it your boy Baron here putting you over with him? I always knew that he was your favorite, but I didn't think it would cost me a shot at WWE. This was all Matt Bloom's decision. Do you think I want to see my top guys leave? <laughs> and do you think we want to stay here forever, wrestling in front of a few hundred people for crap money? That's not what I meant. I'm just saying we're building something good here. Besides, if you left, who would design our title belts? I only make your belts because you pay us so little for wrestling. It's so bad teacher's pet over here has to live in his van. I thought that was a joke. I only live in it when times are tough, which is most of the time. Well, that nickname's not as much fun anymore. Look, you just need to trust the process. We're building a brand. And think of it this way. If any of us make it to WWE, it'll be good for everyone. It'll help put BCW on the map and lead to more opportunities. Oh, yeah. Easy for you to say. You're the one with a WWE tryout match. He's right, though. What's the saying? A rising boat will lift all tides? I think it's the other way around. Whatever. Come on, let's drop this thing and bring it in for a BCW handshake. Yeah, no thanks. I'll let you two celebrate alone. Don't worry about him. And congrats! I am truly happy for you! This is way bigger than the high school gym. And the VFW. And the state fair. Combined. Don't let that bother you. All that matters is the ring's the same size. All right, good point, but I assume their rings aren't covered in rust and mysterious stains. Hey, we're working on fixing that. Come on, let's go meet Triple H and uh, try to play it cool. You don't want to recite his entire career history like you did with Matt Bloom. <laughs> <sighs> it wasn't his entire career history. Hey, Hunter, it's been a while. This is my guy that Matt Bloom wanted to bring in for the tryout match tonight. Nice to meet you. You trained him, Baron? I did. He's one of my top students. I'll try not to hold that against him. Look, I've heard a lot of good things, but I want to see you in action tonight before we decide anything. Do you have an opponent for him yet? I do. Surviving in WWE is all about how you handle adversity, so you're going to face the toughest guy we have. Actually, the toughest monster we have. Go introduce yourself to Braun. Don't worry. He won't hurt you. Not until your match, at least. Uh, hey, Braun? I, I just wanted to introduce myself. No autographs. <laughs> I'm... I'm not a fan. I'm actually your opponent tonight. You mean victim? So how do you want to die tonight? Uh, I'd like to survive tonight, if that's okay with you. What I meant was, in what type of match do you want to get these hands? I want a regular match. That way I can show Triple H that I can put up a fight inside the ring without having to rely on any kind of weapon. I can't believe you thought I was actually going to let you choose the type of match tonight. We're gonna do what I wanna do, because I'm the monster among men. So it'll be a steel cage match. That way you can't run from me. A steel cage, great idea. It's gonna be my second choice. You did a good job out there. Really? Feels like I got run over by a big bearded tank. 
Think it was enough for him to sign me? I don't know. But no matter what, you always have a home in the BCW. Thanks. Hey, I saw a lot of positive things from you tonight. Most importantly, you didn't seem intimidated by being on the bigger stage or by being locked in the cage with a monster. So with that being said, we'd like to offer you an NXT contract. Look that over and return it at tomorrow night's show. This is amazing. Thank you. I would shake your hand, but I think three of my fingers are dislocated. Don't worry about it. Rest up and we'll finalize everything tomorrow night. You did it. I'm shocked. Me too. I just can't believe it. I mean, against all odds. I know. I'll definitely be sad to see you go. You've become one of my top guys. You'll be fine though, right? I mean, you got Cole and the rest of the crew, yeah? Sorry, what, what am I doing? This is your time to celebrate, not to worry about me and BCW. You enjoy the moment. I'm gonna go talk to Triple H about when you might start, so maybe I can get you on one more BCW show. We'll do a big farewell match. It'll be great. Sounds good. I... I'll see you back at the hotel. Congrats. I'm... I'm proud of you. Thanks, Baron. Couldn't have done it without you. Actually, I was literally just offered an NXT contract, and I can't wait to get started. You should just skip NXT and go straight to the main roster. Actually, you know what? Hey, Triple H, you say listen to your audience? Well, the audience is saying that I'm good enough to go straight to the main roster, which actually, I think I proved it tonight by going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Braun Strowman in a steel cage and not backing down, but... <laughs> proved it tonight by going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Braun Strowman in a steel cage and not backing down, but... Less than 24 hours after we offer you the opportunity of a lifetime, you get into a fight with a fan outside a WWE event, and there's video. I'd really love to hear this explanation. Look, the fan attacked me first. I was just defending myself. What am I supposed to do, just stand there and get beat up? All we can see is you fighting with a member of the WWE Universe, and that's not good. Well, that's how it happened. You need to understand, this isn't some rinky-dink independent promotion running shows at the Elks Lodge. This is a publicly traded global company. We can't have our WWE superstars getting into fights with fans, and it will not be tolerated. On top of that, you were bashing NXT, saying you were going straight to the main roster. Who in the hell do you think you are? I was just having fun with the fans. I was just about to say that I would be happy to go to NXT, and the fan attacked me. Oh, I bet. This is what I get for trying to do business with one of your guys, Baron. Come on, Hunter. Can't you just find him or something? No, because I can't find him if he's not on the active roster. I'm rescinding the contract offer. Leave the building, or I will have security escort you out. Don't ever bring me one of his guys again. This is on you, too. Understood. Remember what I said about making me regret my decision? Congratulations. You did it in record time. Ugh! Hey, this wasn't your fault. I'm sure we'll figure out something else. Now, come on. Grab your stuff. We gotta go. Just a minute.
Wakey, wakey, Jake the Snakey. <sighs> it is too early for that to be funny. Sorry, I couldn't wait to tell you the good news. Triple H called and wants to offer me a contract again? No. Better. What could be better than that? Well, after news of your NXT contract being pulled hit the internet, your fan fight video went viral. It's over 2 million views now. Sorry, make that 2.2 million. So a whole lot of people have watched me throw my career away. Why is that a good thing? Because controversy creates cash. My phone's been blowing up. Everyone wants to book you now. You're the hottest thing on the indie scene. And based upon the principle of supply, there's only one of you. And demand, like I said, is high. Your rate is skyrocketing. Okay, okay, this could be good. It could be very good. We could turn chicken crap into chicken salad, if you know what I'm saying. I don't think I get it. You're gonna stick it to Triple H and WWE by making your own success in the indies. You'll be way bigger than you ever would have been in NXT or WWE, and we'll do it together. So what do you say? Are you in? I mean, what other choice do I have? I'm in. I'm in. All right. Now, go brush your teeth. Your breath is terrible. It's too early for this. Uh, somebody want to explain to me what's going on here? Give me a minute. Welcome to the new reality of BCW. Because of all your online hype, we sold out our usual allotment of tickets a few days ago. But, since I'm an entrepreneurial genius, I pulled some strings with the school principal, allowing us to move the show outside. Therefore, doubling our capacity. <laughs> all right. All right, good work. But that's not all. See those fancy video cameras and that nice gentleman I was just speaking with? Uh... Yeah? For the first time ever, BCW will be live streaming our event around the world on pay-per-view. So anyone who's not lucky enough to see Buzz in person can still watch him do his thing from the comfort of their homes for a small but fair fee. Isn't it great? Uh, yeah, it's great. Question, who is Buzz? Oh, <laughs> that's your new nickname. You know, because of all the social media buzz you're generating. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. Buzz? <laughs> it's all turning into chicken salad, my friend. Uh, yeah, speaking of making things not crappy, have you seen Cole? I feel like I should talk to him before our match tonight. Well, he's around here somewhere. And, oh, by the way, your match with him tonight is now Falls Count Anywhere. Thought you two could have some fun with all the extra space out here. <laughs> fun, yeah. You really have an odd definition of the word fun. <laughs> there he is. The man who drowned in his own rising tide. Come back to apologize to me for stealing my shot at WWE and immediately throwing it away? <laughs> Look, I am not apologizing for anything. Okay, all I want to say is that we don't need to have each other's backs, but with what Baron is planning to do, the least we could do is have each other's respect. All right? So, are we good? Oh, yeah. We're so good? I thought I'd introduce you to my new character I'm trying out tonight. You remember how Matt Bloom didn't like Mr. CQ and decided to give you a tryout instead of me? Sure. Smart decision. I'm calling myself Black Hole Cole. Because I have an energy so intense, nothing can escape it. <sighs> what? Oh, you don't like it? Why? I'm not a fan of masks these days. <laughs> you know, I find it really interesting that I was attacked by somebody wearing a mask, and next time I see you, you have a mask. Not to mention, you also had all the motivation in the world to do it. Hmm. 
You're right. It was me. So what are you gonna do about it? Uh, you better tell me the truth right now. It wasn't me! I, I, I had a match that night 300 miles away. I got the gas receipts to prove it. But I could have hired somebody to do it. What? There was a joke! Man, relax! You're real funny. Real funny. We'll see who's laughing after our match tonight. doesn't live in his van. That's what BCW is all about. Fan interaction. You don't just come and watch a BCW show. You're a part of it. You taking notes, Triple H? That was amazing. The live crowd loved it. You managed to avoid wrecking the principal's car, and the pay-per-view buys were off the charts. You two will be getting nice bonus checks in the mail for that. <laughs> oh, uh, I'll hand deliver yours since the last time I checked, you can't send mail to vans. <laughs> that was quite the battle. It was. Uh, sorry about your windshield. It's okay. Baron said he'd pay for it. <laughs> hey, you're a lot tougher than I thought you were. You proved that tonight. And I didn't really get it before, but now I'm starting to understand why they're calling you Buzz. It's pretty much just Baron calling me that. It's gonna catch on. You'll see. Well, my bad for getting fired up about the mask earlier. We good? We're good. That's great, guys, but don't get too friendly because you'll be facing each other again soon in an even bigger rematch. I just need time to build something. Baron, since when have you built anything ever? Well, I'm not actually building it myself, but I am designing it. In the meantime, I have some great opportunities for both of you to build off the success of tonight's show. Cole, an up-and-coming promotion in Japan wants you to go wrestle for them. Ho ho ho! Even Japan can't escape the energy of black hole coal. <laughs> right. Actually, they explicitly said to not do that character. They just want Cole Quinn. And Buzz, we are headed south of the border for a match versus Mexico's hottest luchador, El Mago! Es increíble! What? I took a few years of Spanish in high school. What? Guess that'll be useful on our trip. Hey, big things are happening for us in BCW. It's all coming together. Now, what do you say we bring it in for a big celebratory BCW handshake? Yeah. Uh, uh, ha! Oh, oh. Oh. Wakey, wakey, earthquakey. We're having an earthquake? No, no, no. Just playing the wrestler wake up game, man. Relax. You might want to choose a less terrifying wrestler name next time. Yeah, noted. We made it. Already? It really didn't seem like we were driving two days. Gee, I wonder why. It's because you've been asleep the entire two days. Hey, I need my genius promoter rest. Uh huh. How do you say I need a shower in Spanish? Necesita un shower? I don't know, I don't remember the word for shower. <laughs> You're a lot of help. Did you see that? What? That masked guy who attacked me, he's here, I just saw him. I think you're seeing things from being awake for so long. I'm telling you that was him. How about you get some rest before your big match tonight? We need to keep all our momentum going. Can't have any setbacks due to hallucinations, you know. That wasn't a hallucination. <laughs> all right. Wait, stop, pull over! What, what is it? Did you see him? No, I want to try some authentic Mexican street corn. You're the worst. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa aquí? Es el enmascarado que atacó al boss en el evento de WWE. 
¡Qué horror! ¡Terrible! ¡Qué lástima que esta lucha tremenda termina así! ¡Llévaselo de aquí! ¡Sácalo! Now do you believe me? I guess so. Look, I don't know why you're doing this, but I am not gonna let you try to ruin my career ever again. Lo siento, soy un fan y solo quería atención. Perdóname, por favor. What's he saying? Did he admit to everything? No, he's a fan. He's just craving attention. He's a copycat. He's not the same guy. Let him go. Oh, gracias, señor. Oye, ¿puedo tener un autógrafo? Not tonight, buddy. Oh, yeah, but, but... Well, your big Mexico debut didn't go quite as planned, but the match was still great up until the end. Any publicity is good publicity, right? You've still got the buzz going. I guess. I'm gonna take a shower. You mean... Ducha. <laughs> I looked it up. So, this is what you had to build for our big rematch, right? What is it, a tetanus tornado match? Yep, it's a beauty, don't you think? I'd say it's more beast than beauty. Well, its official name is the Scrap Trap. Not only are we gonna have our biggest streaming audience yet, we're doing it in one of WWE's most iconic venues. It's like we're invading their territory. Man, I wish I could see the look on Triple H's face when he sees this. Where did this even come from? Where did you dig this up? All over. I salvaged it from other wrestling promotions, a junkyard scrap. That section is from WCW's Triple Cage. That is from an ECW cage, and I believe that side used to be an old prison fence. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? I think a better name would be Death Trap. This violates every health code known to mankind. <laughs> yeah, it does. Guys, that truly topped anything you've ever done before. But I'm afraid I got some bad news. What? Yeah, what happened? Our pay-per-view stream went down in the middle of your match. No one watching online got to see how it ended. Did the site crash or something? What happened? No, we were taken down intentionally by Triple H. Triple H? How could he even do that? He and WWE's lawyers are claiming they have exclusive rights to broadcast from this venue. Damn it! And now we're getting flooded with refund requests. Don't think you're getting any bonus checks for this show, guys. I'm sorry. Does either of you know if you can return slightly used jet skis? I might have jumped the gun on purchasing a couple. We'll circle back to that later. First, Triple H unfairly pulls my contract from defending myself from an attack, and now he's trying to sabotage our business? We have to strike back. They have a team of lawyers and an endless supply of cash. You guys just competed in a cage made from an old prison fence. What could we possibly do to them? Well, you said it earlier. Tonight was like we're invading their territory, right? So, what if we actually did that? What do you mean? I mean, we hit Triple H exactly where it hurts the most by... Selling him used jet skis! Invading NXT! Invading NXT! Totally on the same page as you, Buzz. I don't know about this, guys. It seems risky. Why? We've both been rejected by WWE, so... What do we have to lose? Right? And this is what you wanted, Baron. You wanted this. You said it yourself. Our plan was to stick it to Triple H. So what do you say? I think we're gonna need a really big stick? That's what I'm talking about!
Hey, Cole. You got the tickets? Front row, just like you wanted. This is your electric bill. Oh, sorry. Wrong pocket. No. Oh. Thank you. This is it, Buzz. You ready? Oh, I'm ready. You guys remember when Triple H and DX invaded WCW? People still talk about that to this very day. This is going to be very good for us and BCW. Just be ready for anything. I'll be pulling for you. Next week's show is one you don't want to miss as Velveteen Dream takes on Adam Cole and what is sure to be... Uh, uh, so, wait, sorry to interrupt, Michael, but uh, something's going on in the crowd. Wait. Wait, I recognize those two. Isn't that... Hey, 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 don't give them the attention they want by saying their names. Wait, where are these guys going? They can't do this. Oh, no. What are they doing? Why? What is happening around here? That's right. You got one. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> He's so pissed. Get them out of here right It looks now. like these two trespassers are finally leaving. At least we can get on with the show now. That was Awesome! Triple H must be losing it right now! I know, and even better, we're trending! Yeah. Yeah. I know I had my doubts about this, but this kind of attention will really help our next BCW yeah, show. Yeah, 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 but before we get there, how are we gonna strike next? What do you mean, strike next? This wasn't a one-time thing? <laughs> oh, no. You, you're all about the buzz, right? You're all about the buzz? We got to keep this thing going. Yeah, I want to be trending nonstop. <laughs> Triple H, he's going to be ready for us next time, so we can't just buy tickets and walk in like we did tonight, okay? We need a different plan. I have an uncle who owns a costume shop. Hmm. Bro, your uncle hooked us up. I know. And all he asked is that we plug his costume shop on NXT. It's... Kind of a weird request, I know, but this stuff's expensive, so I said we'd do it. Uh, okay. I was thinking we'd blend in with the fans better if we dressed up as classic wrestlers. It's a great idea. So who do you want to be? You know it'd be hilarious? If we were DX and one of us was Triple H, that would really set him off. <laughs> oh, man. It's DX! See? You never know who's gonna show up at NXT! It appears these fans have gotten a little carried away. After last week, are we sure they're fans? Now, I'm skeptical to say the least. Are you ready? No! I said, are you ready? Yeah, come on. You wanna go? Come on. Look at you. Theory confirmed. It's those same two cowards who interrupted the show last week. Come on, let's go. Destroy them. Finally, some reinforcements have arrived. Yeah, these Indian invaders may have gotten more than they bargained for. I want you to tear them apart. I have no idea how these two survived the authors of Let's pain, go. but hopefully Gargano and Cassius Ono can get the job done. Come on. Come on, Cletus. Come on. Let's go. Uh, 
Oh, no. Now they're Finish in trouble. Them off. The Undisputed Era will put an end to this. Now, this is a rare time. I'm actually cheering for the Undisputed Era. No matter what your feelings are with the Undisputed Era, Byron, they represent NXT against these invaders. Ah. Hey, Hunter, you mad, bro? I mean, I guess I would be too if a couple of indie guys infiltrated my show two weeks in a row and then beat up half my roster. Yeah, you guys are real clever, showing up here again in your cute little costumes. Actually, these awesome costumes are courtesy of Don's Costume Shop, Syracuse, New York. Dressing you up since 1993. And if you use the promo code Mr. CQ, you get a 10% off all wrestling costumes. Thanks, Uncle Don. Oh, and to Mom, Dad, Sally, and my dog Butternuts. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Thank you for supporting me in all of my endeavors. Look at me now! I made the big time, baby! Are you finished? Yeah, man. Anything else you want to plug, or...? BCW? Oh yeah! You can catch more of the two of us on BCW when Triple H here isn't trying to shut down our shows. Listen, we can stand here and go back and forth and then you can try to invade again next week in some other not so clever way. But I have a different proposal instead. You wanna be on NXT so bad, you can come back and have an actual sanctioned match. I just happen to have the perfect opponent for you, Buzz. So what do you say? You got yourself a deal. That's great, because after next week, your life will be changed forever. What do you mean by that? I don't care, as long as it means we'll mm -hmm. never have to see these two losers again. The so-called Indie Invaders are back again this week, this time for an official match with Buzz taking on Triple H's hand-picked opponent. I guarantee whoever Triple H chooses will be leaps and bounds above the competition that Buzz has faced on the indie circuit. Hey, guys. We wanted to make you feel at home, so we got you your very own locker room. What's the matter? Is it too big? <laughs> well... At least we have free toilet paper. It's kind of hard to prepare for my match when I have no idea who I'm facing. I would just be ready for anything. Yeah, I mean, I could be facing Braun Strowman because Triple H had me go against him in my tryout match? Maybe. You okay? You seem kind of distracted. Look, I'm just worried how this is going to turn out. I mean, for all of us, I warned you not to get on Triple H's bad side. Yeah, yeah, but with everybody here, it should be fine, right? I hope you're right. Look, I'm gonna go see if I can find us an actual dressing room, okay? There's a feeling of tension in the air as Buzz is about to find out the identity of his opponent. Sorry, Buzz. I'm not your opponent tonight. But I did personally select him. You see, I did a little digging these past couple of weeks, and I was able to track down the person who cost you your shot at WWE. And that's who you're facing tonight. Come on out. No, it can't be! Who would have imagined? <laughs> Leave it to the Cerebral Assassin to pull off something like this. <laughs> I love it.
To bring our audience up to speed, Buzz had a WWE contract, but an altercation with his mass fan forced Triple H to rescind that contract. Guys, Buzz is in absolute shock. Well, he better snap out of it or he's gonna get beat up by this fan a second time. Buzz is desperately trying to find out the identity of the masked attacker. And there's just as much desperation on the masked attacker's part to hide their identity from Buzz. It looks like he finally might find out who cost him his WWE contract. That's, that's Baron Blade, the owner of BCW. I'm sorry, but I can explain. I attacked you after your WWE tryout because I didn't want to lose you. Without you, BCW wouldn't last. But more importantly, I didn't want to lose my protege. You're like a son to me. And I know after you lost your dad, I was like a father to you. Don't you ever mention my father again. Please try to understand. I know I messed up, but I had good intentions. Good intentions? You cost me my dream. I trusted you with everything. My safety, my career, my entire life. This is why I didn't want to invade NXT. I knew Triple H would use this to drive us apart. No, Triple H didn't drive us apart. You drove us apart. I never want to see you or talk to you again. We are done. Wait, just please forgive me. Go ahead, hit me if it makes you feel better. I deserve it. You're not worth it. <laughs> I told you, this match would change your life forever. I swear, I had no idea about Baron. I'm just as shocked as you are. Just want to get out of here. What's the big hurry, Buzz? Don't you want to stay? Have some catering? I mean, it might be a good idea. Who knows where your next meal is going to be coming from after I just tore your little indie fed to pieces. I'm not hungry. We're not finished here. You guys thought you were so cute playing Invasion, but I have eyes and ears everywhere. And the moment they informed me Baron was the masked man that attacked you, I could not wait to light the fuse and watch everything blow up in your faces. You know, it took a bit of convincing to get Baron to do the match. I told him that I'd keep his secret, but I was gonna expose him either way. So take your stuff, take your little buddy here, and go back to your rundown van and your rundown lives. Oh, wait. There's one more thing you might want to know. I bought your contract from Baron, which means I have control over you now. So you can also consider tonight your retirement match. Because as long as I am alive, you will never step foot in a ring again. Now we're finished. Hey guys, hold on a second. Yeah, we couldn't help overhear all that, and we have a different plan in mind. This doesn't concern you. Actually, it does. Yeah, as respective GMs of Raw and SmackDown, our job is to find the very best talent for our shows. And from what we've seen the past few weeks and from his run on the indies, this man doesn't deserve to be sent off into early retirement. He deserves to be on the main roster. It'd be a waste to have him under contract sitting on the sidelines. You can stop right there. I've made my decision. Aren't you always using the phrase, what's best for business? He does always say that, Daniel. So, wouldn't putting your personal issues with a talent aside in order to make SmackDown... Or Raw. ...the best show possible be the exact definition for what's best for business? Fine. He's your problem now. You might have been bailed out this time, but I will never forget what you did. So what's it gonna be? 
I think you'd be right at home on Team Blue. Or you could be a part of WWE's flagship show, Monday Night Raw. <laughs> this has been an emotional night, and uh, this is a lot to take in. But if I have to make a decision right now, I've got to go where I think I have the best opportunity to showcase my wrestling style, and that's on SmackDown. Yes! 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 Hear that? There's a buzz on SmackDown. <laughs> Congrats, man. I don't agree with your decision, but I respect it. And if I've learned anything in my career, it's never say never. So who knows? Maybe you end up competing on Raw someday. In the meantime, good luck. Thank you. Buzz is now headed for SmackDown Unbelievable. Live! Unbelievable. Hey, bro. <laughs> what a crazy night. I know! That was the craziest, loopiest roller coaster of emotions I've ever been on, and I wasn't even riding in the front. <laughs> I can't imagine how you're feeling. I, I don't even know yet, okay? I'm, I'm still in shock from everything that happened. <laughs> well, good luck on SmackDown. Not that you need it. You're gonna do great. Aw, uh, thanks, man. You know, I... Too bad you didn't get signed, too, but I think it's just a matter of time until you join me in WWE. Don't worry about me. After the attention we got invading NXT, I'm pretty sure my indie booking fee just about tripled. <laughs> Plus, I always got a standing offer to head back to Japan. That's good, man. That's good. Don't be a stranger. I won't. But if you're ever feeling lonely on the road, you can take a look at this and remember your old buddy Cole. <laughs> what is that? I took it off the scrap trap after our match and made it into a keychain as a sort of good luck charm. I want you to have it now. Aww. Thanks, man. I mean, if things don't work out in WWE, I think I might have a future as a, uh, a gas station bathroom attendant. So, thanks. You uh, might want to rinse it off. There's probably still some blood on it. Ugh. Could be ours. Could be an inmate's from when it was a prison fence. Who knows? Oh, God. Okay, well... What a missy man. BCW handshake? It's kind of weird now. It's a little bit weird. Oh, hey, bro. Long time no see, bro. I know, it's been a minute. I have an idea. One last road trip together? Let's do this. Wiggle, wiggle, wow! got to be kidding me. You know, seeing as how you're a big shot WWE superstar now, maybe it's time you get a nicer ride. At least one that runs? Uh, no way, all right? This van was the last thing my dad gave me. I'll get it fixed. Your stubbornness really bugs me sometimes. <laughs> get it? Because <laughs> it's a bug van. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Let's start pushing. SmackDown Live's newest superstar has arrived! Oh, I was hoping him getting signed was just a very bad dream. Yeah, sorry, Corey, but this is really happening. Welcome to SmackDown. I'm glad you made it okay. I was a little worried when you told me you'd be driving your van to the show. <laughs> I had a bunch of work done on it, so no need to worry. Spending that WWE money already, huh? <laughs> Not like that. Like I said before, I see a lot of myself in you. We both paid our dues on the indies and faced a ton of adversity to get to WWE. But with all that being said, don't expect me to play favorites or give you any handouts here on SmackDown. You're going to have to earn everything you get. Hey, I wouldn't want it any other way. Good. And speaking of earning opportunities, that starts tonight. Because you'll be competing in an eight-man battle royal to determine the number one contender for Bobby Roode's US title. That's great. Who else is in the battle royal? You can introduce yourself now or in the ring. Coming up is a form of combat that personifies the concept of every man for himself. All eyes are going to be watching. You're looking at the new number one contender for the United States Championship. What a debut on SmackDown Live. He didn't even pin anyone. It was a battle royal. He didn't have to. 
Apparently, the U.S. champion wants to get a closer look at his opponent. It appears Bobby Roode isn't too impressed with Buzz either. That's because he watched the same exact match I did. Buzz isn't going to win the U.S. title by throwing Bobby Roode over the top rope. If you're just joining us, the number one contender for the U.S. title is here on SmackDown Live. And we've learned he's going to get his U.S. title shot at Backlash. Now, I can't wait to hear him try to rationalize how he even belongs in the same ring with Bobby Roode. Now, granted, I haven't been doing this as long as Bobby Roode has, so some people might think I don't have the right to say this, but it's the truth. The U.S. title needs to be held by someone who's more than just a catchphrase. Because what's truly glorious about that title is its history. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, Bret the Hitman Hart, Sting, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Eddie Guerrero, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. Those are just a handful of the legends who were once U.S. champion. And they made that title what it is today because of their amazing battles they had in the ring, not because they just repeated a word over and over again until it caught on. So when I become U.S. champion, I'm going to return the title to its roots. My reign will be about memorable matches, not memorable words. And that will be absolutely glorious! This should be good. Let me stop you right there. You come to SmackDown last week, get lucky by winning a battle royal, and then think you can walk out here and say that all I am is a catchphrase? You said it yourself. You haven't been doing this as long as I have. So here's another catchphrase for you. Shut your stupid rookie mouth because you have no idea what you're talking about. I haven't heard that one before. I've been at this for 20 years now. That's two decades of leaving everything that I have in that ring night after night. And what have you been doing? Wrestling one, maybe two shows a month at your local high school gym? So you have no right to come out here and say that I am just a catchphrase because I have proof that I can back up everything that I say. What do you have? Oh, that's right. Nothing but entitlement and pure ignorance. Ooh, seems like I really touched a nerve there. I guess the truth hurts. Are we done here? Why, so you can say your catchphrase? Look, if you really want to prove that you're more than some cheap phrase, how about we make our US title match at Backlash one that would honor the legends who held that title before you. The men who battled each other sometimes for up to an hour. I'm proposing a match that's the ultimate in-ring test. No match against you will ever be a test, but please continue. <laughs> okay, if you're so sure about that, then you'll have no problem taking me on in an Iron Man match. I have no problem whatsoever, and I don't care about what you say. Beating you will be absolutely glorious. Buzz's U.S. title match against Bobby Roode is now an Iron Man match. Here's another look. Buzz has done it. He's outlasted Bobby Roode to win his first title in WWE. And even more impressive, he did it in his first singles match. This guy is the real deal. Yeah, look, it's certainly a huge accomplishment to win the U.S. title the way that he did. But now the real work begins, defending it. He just won the title. Let the man enjoy it for two minutes. The new United States champion is here on SmackDown Live. From one champion to another, congrats on your win over Bobby Roode. Thanks. I mean, 
<laughs> oh. Maybe you should leave that to me and my dad. We're scheduled to hear from the U.S. champ later on tonight. And hopefully we don't have to hear any more of his terrible woos.